Right, so one of the things uh, I've been asked about is uh, painting faces and um, more specifically painting eyes. Uh, people seem to struggle a fair bit with painting eyes. Uh, you can end up with uh, some quite kind of surprise expressions, odd shaped eyes, eyes that point in different directions. Uh, and what I've got is, uh, or what I use is a technique that gives me a fairly reliable way of painting eyes that, that don't make uh, your models look a little bit kooky. So I um, just want to quickly talk you through like the theory of how, how we do this. So if you, if you have an eye, essentially uh, there, is, there is an eyelid and then there, there's a the light's blowing that out. Essentially what you're going to do first of all is, is the actual part of the eye you're going to paint this uh, entirely black and then you're going to then paint um, a white ellipse leaving essentially a black area so all of this will be black and this gives you your, your eye, your definition. And then what you're going to do is because uh, with a the model uh, there's generally two eyes you're going to work out where you actually want the pupil to go and you're going to draw you're going to paint a very fine black line where you want the pupil to go and you can do this multiple times because if you get this wrong it's just super easy just to kind of cover that up and just make sure that you get um, the the eyes exactly where you want in the center of the eyes and now what you do is, and it depends on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, if you're right-handed then this eye generally is the easiest one and this eye is generally the more difficult one and vice versa if you're left-handed. So uh, what I tend to do is is now use um, a half, like a half circle, um, so a semicircle. So I will, I will paint a semicircle that comes down like this and goes up like that and then I'll flip the model around and I'll do a half circle that comes down and a half circle that comes up like that. So then when I flip it back up, it looks exactly right. Yeah, so uh, it basically gets around the, the limitations. And these are actually quite easy strokes to do. And again, on a 28 mil, mil model, they don't actually need to be perfectly round. Um, but it helps if they are. And this color is actually um, not black. Use a dark color. So use, um, you know, use use like a like a dark green or a dark blue or a light blue if you want. Light. Don't go too light with it though. Um, and basically, or a brown. So brown, green, or blue. That's the color what eyes come in. Unless you're doing something freaky like with red eyes and stuff. But anyway. Um, the last thing you do is then get a tip of um, a fine brush. Um, get bright white and then basically put your highlight in. So just put a tiny little dot of white in there and that's all you need to do for 28 mil models. Uh, if you are painting slightly bigger, 54 or, or, or higher, and I have actually done this on 28 mil, a tiny tip of black right in the middle can help, um, but I tend to not bother doing it. Sorry, it shouldn't be in the middle, it should be just slightly above the middle. Ignore that one. Yeah, so you end up with, with your pupils kind of slightly above the line. All right, so that's all, that's the theory. So what we're gonna do is have a look at this model. Now, I apologize because the, the, the lighting I'm struggling with because I have to zoom in so far so you can actually see what's going on. So this is a bit of an experiment to see, see how this is gonna work out. This is a model that um, I did in my uh, facial video, uh, how to paint faces. Um, and I went ahead and painted the eyes already, but we're going to uh, just to show you what the what the end result looks like. Um, but I'm going to repaint him uh, right now. So um, brushes, you don't need. I'm using a Winsor Newton Series Seven. Uh, it's a one. Uh, just the important thing is it has a very fine tip. That's all you need. So. First things first, uh, as you remember, is we are going to basically paint the eye socket black. And this is where things get slightly awkward, so I need to just make sure that I'm kind of in focus. Right, bear with me, guys. This is uh, this is more than awkward. Now, the best time to paint eyes is before you do the rest of the face, because it 
enables you to um, to cover up any mistakes. So if you do actually end up getting anything on the eyelid, sorry I'm off camera there aren't I? So I am flipping this upside down, it's what I showed you earlier, um, just to get around the fact that I'm right handed. Okay, so make sure that's in focus. I missed a little bit in the corner of his eye. Okay, that's it. So blacken the eyes out. Now if I'd got any paint on his eyelid or anything like that, I could go in and tidy that up now. Um, I tend to be like a bit of a fiddler, so I will go in and, and correct things as I go, then make another mistake and correct that as I go. But um, you, Or you can do all your tidying up at the end. So now I'm taking a little bit of white. So what's important is to use an off-white. Uh, so uh, I'm using a, uh, a linen white. You can use ivory. Uh, just don't use bright white because uh, eyes are not not that colour. Right, let's see if I can show you. So now what I'm trying to do is just literally use the shape of the brush. And you can see I've made quite a mess of that, so we'll go in and fix that up afterwards. Because it is awkward with the camera. Oh, I'm doing a better job of this one. Okay. So that's kind of what we want to aim for. So I'm just going to go in and just tidy this one up. And you can obviously take your time and not be painting around a camera or in a funny angle. Okay. Uh, How does that look? Look, still looks like I need to tidy the white up a little bit. And because you're using such tiny little bits of paint, they dry super quick, so you don't really need to worry. Okay, and I'm just going to strengthen the white on this side. Alright. Ta-da! Okay, so far so good. So we've got black shading around the eyes. Um, and we've got some eyeballs that don't look super unnatural at this stage. So going back to the drawing, so the next thing we need to do, go back to your black and we now need to work out exactly where we want the pupils to go. So I'm going to start with one here. Okay. And I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to finish on this side. Sorry, this is going to be awkward, but I'm just trying to make sure I line these up. Here. Okay. Slightly skew with, but not the end of the world. Right. Now I'm going to use a dark green colour. To... Can you see this? Good. I don't know, I'm conscious my head's coming in. Hopefully my head's not obscuring everything. So I'm now just going to paint a half circle. Okay. And then I'm going to flip the model upside down. This is going to be awkward for you guys to watch, I think. Uh, let's get this on camera. Oh my god, this is... Oh, I'll have to do this one off camera, sorry guys. So, blobs painted in. Yeah, needs a fraction of tidy up, so I'm just going to go back to my black and I'm just going to quickly give him a little bit of eyeliner just to define the eye a little bit. Not too shabby, I'm going to just do across the top of his eye now just to make sure that there's a nice clean line there and a clean. Okay, 
So I just tied it up as I went along, yeah? And now, why don't we try and show off fractionally? What we're going to do is we're going to put a dot of black just above centre in the middle of each eye. Okay. Alright, let's just pull a bit of light down on that so you can see what I mean. Cool, and then the final bit, go back to our white, try again. Okay, so a little tip of white, and I just want to try and catch a dot, just... Oh, obviously my brush wants to go there, so let's go with the brush. Okay, that's not the end of the world. He just looks a fraction surprised on that, on this eye here, so I can just tidy that up by going back into my black, just taking that top edge out of that highlight. Okay, there you go. Wasn't smooth as sailing in the world, but it took a couple of minutes, a uh, little bit of patience. I only ever used uh, a size one brush for the whole thing, and that's how I paint eyes. Hope it helps.